A five-hour protest was held outside a print room theatre in West London over a row over white actors playing characters with Chinese names. Protesters have accused the print room of yellow-faced casting in its production of Howard Barker's play In the Depths of Dead Love. Around 120 people, including East Asian actors Katie Lerne, Benedict Wong and Gemma Chan, attended the demonstration outside the theatre. The play is set in ancient China and features Jane Burtish, William Chubb, James Clyde and Stella Garnett playing characters called Mrs. Hu, Lord Jang, Chin, and Lady Haisai. The print room has insisted the characters are not Chinese, and that the play is a fable where the names are not supposed to be taken literally. The print room argues, in the depths of dead love, is a very simple fable. It is not a play that tells a Chinese story. It is not about Chinese society, culture, or perspectives. If it were, the casting would be very different, naturally. Whilst the characters have been given Chinese name, that is so referenced to abstract and folkloric idea of the universal. We could just be easily be in the metaphorical area of Hans Christian Andersen, or alternatively, the land of Bubba's Grimm. It is in fact a fairy English play, and has derived thoroughly from English moors and simply references the mythic and the ancient. It has therefore been cast accordingly. Critics say this isn't true, and assist the casting marginalises East Asian actors. Organiser of protests, Andrew Keats, slammed the theatre, accusing it of marginalising East Asian actors. The extraordinary talent that exists uh, within this amazing community, and I frequently see this and other minority groups being invisible when it comes to uh, the media and arts, and I've always thought that theatre, my background, is the most progressive part of and when I heard that a play set in ancient China with Chinese names, um, deep bowing, references to silk and tea and whatever, and they decide to ask for Caucasian actors that can very contently work in other jobs um, and not see the print room championing the extraordinary talent of the East Asian and Southeast Asian community, um, I think it's offensive and I think it's this act if not quashed, which is why I'm protesting against it, could drag us back um, decades. I think the print room's responses have been huge. Every single, I mean, I don't know who runs the PR department, um, but it's almost like receiving letters from an eight-year-old. Um, every single time I see a response, it actually makes me more and more angry. For example, they called this play a very English play. So is that the justification for white Caucasian actors when only 85% of the UK is Caucasian. They say that they've been attacked, you know, myself, Daniel, Hall, um, plenty of other people all reached out to the room to say, would you reconsider this casting? They never responded to us. Um, I've never received an email from Amanda Winters and I'm, I think this theatre really belongs in the dark ages. Indeed, their, their responses are belittling and embarrassing to this, these extraordinary people, and indeed, East Asians and South, um, East Asians all over uh, South Asia. Um, Actors Union Equity has also hit out at the casting, accusing the theatre of failing to engage with the industry-wide discussion on diversity. Equity General Secretary Christine Payne also criticised the theatre's response of the accusations against it, adding, the print room statement is completely unacceptable on a number of levels, not least which is the suggestion that an English play must be completely white. In a statement, the print room theatre said, We are truly sorry for any offence caused by the announcement of our cast for Howard Baker's remarkable play In the Depths of Dead Love. We can see how it led to concerns and misapprehensions. No offence was intended, and as we explained, none should be taken. We are in conversation with Equity about this matter. This is Drink It Man reporting for Resonate.